I just saw another news report. I mean, you've touched on this. Uh, in Boston, uh, they are now using a community center uh, to house illegal immigrants. Uh, and now the local residents, and this is in an African-American community, and they're outraged over this, that they're not allowed to use their own community center. They've become white supremacists? It, they've, so that's, <laughs> so let me, let's put it in a bigger, let's put it in a bigger uh, context. So I don't know if you've seen the studies done, but after Occupy Wall Street, now let's remind people what Occupy Wall Street was. There was a response to the Bill Clinton deregulating Wall Street because he was a puppet and no, of the military industrial complex and Wall Street, and he was no friend of the working man. So he he took away all the regulations that kept Wall Street from screwing and crashing. Within 10 years after we repealed Glass-Steagall, it crashed. And it hurt most. Who did it hurt? It hurt working people. And so people from the left, right and center came together at Occupy Wall Street to uh, protest the way they handled that. Right. Which way they handled that was Barack Obama bailed out the banks and he made sure they didn't miss their bonuses, the bankers. And he kicked five point one million families out of their houses. So when people saw the game that was being played, it was it was Democrats and Republicans coming together to serve corporations and screw regular Americans. They did occupy Wall Street. And so the establishment then had had to realize we have to figure out how to divide and conquer these people again because when they come together that's the only thing that scares people and that's why i'm glad you're running as an independent the only thing that scares the establishment is when people from the left and the right come together to oppose them but what they've been doing ever since then is trying to get us to turn on each other and if you look at the studies the the uh, uh, mentions of white supremacy and racism uh, have skyrocketed in the media, the corporate owned media. There's only six companies run by billionaires. And my theory is that is there to divide us, to keep us thinking that our problem is our, is our neighbor instead of the problem is the oligarchy that has been doing this controlled demolition of our economy that is crushing everybody. They don't want us to realize that and come together and oppose them. So that's they're using white our fear of white supremacy and racism against us. Not that racism doesn't exist in America and it isn't a problem, but they're oh, they they are uh, using it and focusing on that as a way to divide us. Do you do you share that concern? Well, look, I I've lived in integrated neighborhoods my whole life. The house that I live in in Cleveland. Uh, is in an integrated neighborhood. And, you know, to me, you know, to me, I see the world as one. I see the world as interdependent and interconnected, that we're, that we're all brothers and sisters. The human genome theory says we're 99.9% .9 made of the same stuff. And, you know, race, color, creed are, 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 fra are, are <coughs> fractions of light that come through a prism of human unity. So, this idea of racism in our society is abhorrent and trying to turn people in Massachusetts and other places into white supremacy because they want to use a community center. <laughs> is, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's just it's it. What it does, though. Seal the border. Don't bring more people in uh, across that border and and people who are already here. Look, we don't want it's It's bad enough that people are starving in the streets who were born in this country, but we have to do something to make sure that people aren't hungry. And we also have to, in some cases, we're going to have to give people a chance to go back to the country of origin and, and to deal diplomatically with the conditions in those countries that cause people to want to leave. There's a lot of desperation out there. And, and America, you know, we can be a beacon but we first have to be a beacon to our to our, our own self as a nation. Right. And we can't we can't pretend that we just open the borders everywhere. And I I'm I'm uh, very concerned about the political games that are being played to pit people. You said it, Jimmy, to pit people against each other. It's by design. Now our campaign, you know, this is our logo right here. It's American Eagle, and we have. In, in the Congress, above the canopy of the House, there's an American eagle, and I would point to it often and tell my colleagues that American eagle needs two wings to fly. It, you know, it also needs a heart and a brain. So I hope to be able to bring some of those attributes uh, back to Congress. Well, I really appreciate your candor and uh, your unflinching support of peace and uh, and sanity. 
and uh, the working class and uh, you know you, we we uh, it's that old saying physician heal thyself if we can't take care of our own people if we have hundreds of thousands of people and children homeless in America that we are not addressing and fixing. We cannot be having an open border, bringing in even more desperate people. And I'm not, Absolutely. that is not to demonize people who want to come here or the immigrants at all. It's not their fault. They're, they're the victim of our of foreign policy just as much. Our drug, 100%. our drug war. So, but at the same time, uh, letting them come in to cities that can't take care of our, uh, their own people uh, is not a solution. All that does is create tensions it creates a uh, 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 anti-immigrant sentiment and it that uh, nothing good's going to happen from that and you you're on that 100 they could lock down all of us but not the border they could lock down everybody in the country <laughs> How is that possible for two years straight but they couldn't well, lock down well, the border well, you know you know it raises it raises a question about you know what government isn't doing right in this country like surveillance yeah you know, remember I, I voted against the patriot act because i read it I don't like the surveillance society. I want to see ways in which we can give return people's freedom. Again, it's about freedom in this country, not to create, quote, freedom in other places because we deliver bombs and we, you know, have an American flag on the uh, on the uh, warhead. No, we have to change our direction. And that's something that I'm about. That's something this campaign as an independence about. And, you know, I again, Jimmy, I could very well end up being the, the only independent elected to the House in 2024 in a pivotal position, which I will use to help uh, workers, to help rebuild the middle class, to help save small businesses and to get us out of these endless wars. Hey, come see us do a live stand up show or be in Bend, Oregon, Portland, Seattle, Philadelphia. Avenal, New Jersey, Boston, Palm Springs, Ta Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Berlin, and London. We're adding a second show in London. The first show sold out. See you there. Mm -hmm.